What's going on, Money Fam? My name is Jeff Rose. I'm a certified financial planner, author, blogger, YouTuber, wealth hacker. And today I want to talk about one of the most important things that I think that you need if you want to achieve real wealth. And what I'm talking about today is how to build multiple streams of income. But many of us have this belief that because of where we come from, where we currently work in our current economic situation, that it's just not a possibility, especially with a global pandemic going on. And today I want to prove that myth is wrong. And I wanna do that by sharing three different strategies that you can start implementing multiple streams of income in your financial life today. The first thing that I want to address about achieving multiple streams of income is that it is not a switch that you turn on and off. It is not something that you can go to sleep tonight and tomorrow it becomes immediate to start achieving multiple streams of income, especially income streams that make a dramatic impact in your life requires that you go through a transformation. If you look up the definition of transformation, it is defined as a thorough change in form and appearance. And that's exactly what has to happen. Now, not with yourself, your outer self, but your inner self, your mindset. You have to change your mindset. It has to be transformed if you want to achieve multiple streams of income. So let's find out how you can do that right now. All right, the first thing that you have to do is you have to do or try something different. But you can't keep doing the same thing and achieve multiple streams of income. You have to do something different. And it may require you doing something that you might think as being below your expertise and below your level of experience and the things that you can do. For example, it may require you to start driving for Instacart or doing delivery through Grubhub or DoorDash. It's the willingness to do or try something different because if you don't take action, if you stay stuck, in your current situation and you're not willing to try something new, you're not going to be exposed to other opportunities. I'm not saying that driving for DoorDash or Instacart or any of these services is that end all result of achieving multiple streams of income. What I am saying is that by having the willingness to put yourself out there and expose yourself to new opportunities because you don't know what you're gonna run into, you don't know what's going to happen when you start down a different path. All right, the second thing that you have to remember if you want to achieve multiple streams of income is to start small. Whatever you start in the beginning, you're not gonna be making substantial income. You're not gonna replace your nine to five day job with your side hustle or whatever that secondary income stream is. Just think of the delivery services I mentioned previously. That is a prime example of starting small. Another way that you can start small is through investing. Whether you are purchasing dividend paying stocks, dividend paying ETFs, or you're purchasing a real estate investment trust, which could be individual stocks or ETFs or mutual funds. But the dividends that you are receiving from these investments is just an example of starting small. Those initial dividends aren't going to replace your paycheck, but it will build from there. That's the beauty of compounding interest and reinvesting all of those dividends for a future use, a future date. If you've never invested before and you have a lot of fear in placing your first investment, I get it. It can be overwhelming. If you want to look at some individual stocks that have a history of paying solid dividends over the years, look at the dividend aristocrats. So this is a list of companies that have continued to pay their dividend over a certain period of time. So they have an excellent track record. Now, that is just one example of all the different types of dividend paying investments that you can place your money into. All right, the third thing to remember when achieving multiple streams of income reminds me of one of my favorite candies as a kid, and that is the now and later. So what am I talking about here? Well, I'm not talking about putting a candy in your mouth and waiting for income to hit you because I don't think that's going to work. But one thing that you can do is think of the strategy of building something now so that you can earn something later. And this is one of the most favorite strategies of mine. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of work. But if you're willing 
to put in that time and have the patience to see something grow, well, the outcome can be amazing. And I think one of the best examples of this are online businesses. And this could be a blog, it could be a podcast, could be a YouTube channel. It could also be an e-commerce store. I mean, there are so many different examples, but with many of these platforms that you are building online, it takes time. It takes time to build an audience. It takes time to become an authority in your space, whatever space that may be. And from my personal example, starting my financial blog, growing that thing, it took me a long time before I finally started earning something. But the fact that I was willing to build something then that didn't pay me a lot so that I could earn something now, which pays me a lot now, it was that patience and that grit and that perseverance over the years that allowed me to develop multiple streams of income. All right, Money Fam, we want to hear from you. What are the multiple streams of income that you are earning or hope to earn? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know what income sources have worked best for you and others that maybe you wish that you wouldn't have tried so others can benefit from your experience. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed this information. Once again, my name is Jeff Rose. I want to remind you that it's your money, it's your life, and only you can make it awesome. Until next time, peace.